Welcome to radio station VE3 IKU. It's a high powered AM station. This is the main power circuit breaker. 120 volts at 30 amps. Turn that on. These are the main racks. The left rack is the RF rack and the right rack is the audio rack. The power control panel is down here. We've got filament, exciter, PA with a protection switch for low primary power and high primary power. And we use the low setting when tuning up and the modulator plates. So we'll start by turning on the filament supply. Over here we've got a monitor scope made by James Millen. Above that is a Gates stay level compressor. We'll turn that on. And above it is a Gates peak limiter. Down here is the speech amplifier. Everything's warming up nicely. I've got a crystal on uh, 3885 kilocycles in the upper James Millen exciter. That's a 50 watt exciter using a 6L6 and 807. And above that is a James Millen 90881 500 watt RF power amplifier using push-pull 812A triodes. Uh, the modulator is down here. Uh, it uses a pair of 810s. Just go to the back and we can look at that. This is the modulator, a pair of 810 triodes. There's the modulation transformer. And down here is the power supply for the modulator using a pair of 866A mercury vapor rectifiers. Uh, 2,000 volts under load. Half an amp power supply. Over here we've got a 3,000 volt power supply. Uh, it's currently set with a Variac uh, to uh, 1,500 volts for the 812As. Eventually I'm going to run a full kilowatt AM and you can see the mercury vapor tubes for the 3000 volt power supply down here and above that is a 750 volt power supply using a pair of uh, 866 juniors and that powers the Millen exciter this is the control panel and the wiring distribution for filaments, exciter and various plate transformer primaries here are the two James Millen 50 watt exciters uh, 6L6 crystal oscillator or VFO buffer and uh, 807 uh, driver stages and up here is the uh, push-pull 812A triodes with a beautiful tank circuit and above that is the meter panel and over here we have the gates peak limiter it's all push-pull one microsecond attack time and uh, here is the gate stay level audio compressor the monitor scope we've got audio pre-emphasis network and here are the two A3's the audio driver and that drives the 810's got an HRO receiver. I'll turn that on first. The power supply. Should be tuned up on uh, 3885. Very good audio. Unlike uh, receiver and uh, SP600 has beautiful audio the way it is, but the uh, the 398, this happens to be a Collins, uh, in fact, I have three of them, they're all Collins. They could be anything, but they, uh, after you modify them and put push the water in there, they're actually bad guys. Okay, there's 3885, that's where we'll tune up. There's the crystal. So we'll turn on the exciter first. And you can see the uh, 807 plate current on the exciter and the grid current on the 812As, 40 milliamps of grid current. Now we'll turn on the PA on our low power. 
it's approximately uh, 600 volts on the plates and it's drawing about 80 milliamps of current. We'll dip the plate. It's already dipped. And there's the full power. About 280 mils of plate current. And the monitor scope is showing RF output. And if we come to the antenna feeders, we'll see about uh, 2.8 mils, uh, 2.8 amperes of radio frequency antenna current going down the open wire line feeders through the antenna lightning switch and uh, through the feed throughs out of the house. We'll turn on the modulator. Modulator idle current, 40 mils. Okay, we'll turn off the transmitter for now. We've got to turn on the uh, microphone mixer. It's an RCA BC5B vacuum tube mixer. And I've got an RCA 44BX ribbon velocity microphone. And I've also got an RCA 77DX microphone. Very, very smooth audio response on these microphones. Testing. One, two, three. This is VE3IKU. Okay. So we'll just do a very brief test here. So we don't want to create too much QRM. Testing. One, two, three. VE3IKU. Testing. This is reasonable. It looked good. I bought it. So I won't regret too much stuff, but uh, I slowly been getting rid of some of it and just keep the stuff I use now. I'm so hanging on to that super pro. So Hank, I'll let you go. I'm won't be too long. I'll go. I'm in a separate building from the house. My wife says you come over about 5:30 and I'll have the coffee on. Whatever your weather's like, you know when you're through with it, I get it down here. <laughs> It's right now, the temperature's about well, 40 degrees here, and the sun's been shining all day. K8KBW, Canton, Michigan, near Detroit, K8BWX, near Youngstown, Ohio, Columbia.